Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the number system. In the last video, we have discussed about the remainder theorem and in this video, we will discuss about the divisibility rules. Now, these are some of the most important questions that you will find in majority of the exams. May it be any government exam, may it be any type of campus recruitment exams. These are some of the most important questions that you will see there that appear in almost each and every exam and this is really important. So, I want you to pay good and close attention to this class. Hope you will enjoy it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first things that we need to know are what are the divisibility rules. So we we'll start with the number two. So two, if any number is divisible by two, that means the number should be even. Any even number is divisible by two. So we need the numbers to be even. That means it should end with zero, two, four, six, or eight, right? The numbers ending with these digits will be divisible by two. For three and nine, what are the rules? The sum of these digits of the numbers should be divisible by either 3 or 9. Okay, sum of digits should be divisible by 3. If the number is divisible by 3, the sum should be divisible by 3. If the number has to be divisible by 9, the sum has to be divisible by 9. Now moving on to 4. What is the divisibility rule of 4? Now, the last two digits of the number should be divisible by 4. The last two digits. Please make a note of this because this will help you in the long run. The last two digits are divisible by 4. Moving on to the next one, 5. The last digit should be either 0 or 5. 0 or 5. If the last digit is 0 or 5, it is divisible by 5. Coming on to 6. A number that is divisible by both 2 and 3 is divisible by 6. So we have to check the divisible rules for 2 and 3. If it satisfies both, it will be divisible by 6. Number 7 will come a bit later. 8. 8 means the last 3 digits of the number should be divisible by 8. Last 3 digits should be divisible. How long with the number? The last 3 digits should be divisible by 8. Then we have 10, of course, we all know the last number should be 0, okay, last number should be 0. Now, 11. So, 7 and 11, let's discuss these two. For 7, what do we have? Now, whatever be the number that you have, so let me write a number, suppose 2, 7, 5, 1, 3, 6, 3. Okay, this is our number. We have to check if it is divisible by 7. What we will do, we will make groups of 3, of 3 numbers from the right side. Okay, so here we have our first group. Here we have our second group and here, this is our third group which is only 2. So what we need to do is add the odd groups and subtract the even group from this. Okay, odd minus even. This is what you need to do. So let's add these two. 2 and 363 will give us 365 and we'll subtract the even part which is 751. Okay. Once you subtract this, basically it will be 751 minus 365. So 751, 365 of course. So we'll get 6 and there we'll have 8 and here we have 5, uh, 6 minus 3 that is 3. If this number is divisible by 7, then our number is divisible by 7. Okay. So the rule is odd group minus even group and the group should be of three digits okay the last one may be having three digits it may not be having three digits because it will depend upon how many numbers are left at the end okay so make three groups add the odd digits i mean add the odd groups add the even groups and then subtract the even group from the odd group odd minus even will give us the number now this number if it is divisible by seven then the number is divisible by seven in this case 386 if we divide by 7 then what will happen 7 into 5 is 35 and 36 7 5 are 35 but it is not divisible that means this number is not divisible by 7 i hope you, this one is clear to you number 7 now moving on to 11 it is also again about making these type of groups now what type of group do we have in number 11 now in 11, suppose that we write a number, uh, 2, 5, 7, 6, 3, 1, 9. In this one, we don't have to make groups really. We have to select the odd digits and the even digits by position. Okay. Now this is our first position. 
this is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh okay select all the odd position numbers one three five seven so what do we have we'll add them nine plus three is twelve twelve plus seven is nineteen nineteen plus two is twenty one then we have the even group numbers what are the even groups one plus six seven seven plus five twelve We'll subtract this okay odd group minus even odd position numbers minus even position numbers this answer is 9 now if this value is divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11 if this is not divisible by 11 the number is also not divisible so what we have done we have taken the first position third position fifth position seventh position means all the odd place numbers we have taken we have added them and then we have gone for the even place digits this is 1 6 5 1 plus 6 plus 5, we have got 12, and we, then we have subtract that is the even place digits. Okay, the even place digits we have taken, we have subtracted it from the odd one. Whatever number we get, this must be divisible by 11. Now, since 9 is not divisible by 11, this number is also not divisible by 11. So, it is odd place minus even place. Okay, so these are some of the most common divisibility rules that you will need while solving. The others are not very much in contention. So these are the ones that you will need while solving the sums. So now let us move into question number one. So what is question number one? The question number one says, what is the value of X so that the seven digit number 8439X53 is divisible by 99? So let us look at the number. Now the given number is 843. 9 x 53 this number is divisible by 99 right it is divisible by 99 now what do we do how do we start see we don't know the divisibility of 99 but we don't need to know the divisibility of 99 what we need to know are two co prime factors of 99 okay what are the co prime numbers 9 and 11 9 into 11 gives 99 now what we will do we will need to have such a value for x so that this number is divisible by 9 and also by 11. So how do we do it? First of all, for divisibility of 9, we need to check the divisibility of 9. We have seen just now, just before this part, that in order for a number to be divisible by 9, the sum of the digits have to be divisible by 9. So what do we have here? We have 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 9, 17, 17 plus 3, 20, 20 plus 4, 24, 24 plus 8, 32. Okay. Now, 32 is not divisible by 9. But what is? 36 is divisible by 9. So, the minimum value that we need to put in place of x so that it becomes divisible by 9 is 4. Because if I add 4 to this, then it becomes 36 and 36 is divisible by 9. Right? I hope this is clear. So, we have one probable value of x to be 4. So x can be 4. Okay, now let us check if by putting x equal to 4, it, does it become divisible by 11? Because if it is not divisible by 11, then this 4, the value 4 will make no sense, right? Because as of now, by putting 4, the number is getting divisible by 9 only, not 11. So by, uh, by understanding previously what how to choose a number divisible by 11, we have just seen that we need the odd position numbers and the even position numbers. So which are the odd position numbers? The odd position numbers are 3, x, 3 and 8, right? First, third, fifth and seventh. So this is 3 plus x, x means 4. So 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 8, 18. We need to subtract the even positions. Even positions means 5, 9 and 4. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. So 18 minus 18 is 0. Now 0 is a number which is divisible by all the numbers. Any number you take from the infinite series of numbers, any number is divisible by, I mean 0 is divisible by any number, right? We can divide 0 by any number. So by putting the value of x, we get a number which is also divisible by 11. So this is also satisfied. That means the value of x will be 4. So the number will be, that means x will be equal to 4. See how simple it is. You just need to know the co-prime factors and then check their divisibility. 
so you will get faster at this only if you practice divisibility the more you practice divisibility the better you are going to have the idea of the numbers right if you forget about how to check for 11 and how to check for 9 then that's when it gets tough for you that's when you start forgetting that's when you start taking time so how to cure that practice maths in order to be good at not only maths in order to be good at anything you need to be able to practice that thing over and over and over again maybe i'll make one video to tell you why you need to practice okay moving on to question number two so in this question what is the maximum value that should be assigned to x so that 2361x48 is divisible by 9 so let us write the number the number is 236 236 1 x 4 8 this has to be divisible by 9 now what is the maximum value so we need to write the maximum not the minimum one it is already said maximum if in the question maximum word or the minimum word is not mentioned then by default we always take the minimum okay please keep this in mind if maximum or minimum is not mentioned in the question always by default take the minimum value but in this question they have mentioned maximum value so by divisible by 9 we all know sum of digits should be divisible by 9 so 4 plus 8 is 12 12 plus 1 13 13 plus 6 19 19 plus 3 22 22 plus 2 24 now 24 plus 3 gives us 27 that means x can be right x can be 3 is there any other single digit value that we can add to 24 so that it becomes divisible by 9 because after 27 which number is divisible by 9 36 now in order to make 24 36 we need to add 12 but 12 is not a single digit number that means there is no other value that we can put in place of x other than 3 that will make it divisible by 9 so ultimately the value of x is 3 see really really simple it may not look that simple but it actually is now in this question the option is option b 3 okay moving on to question number 3 if 7 8 x 3 9 4 5 is divisible by 11 then what is the value of x i want you to pause the video right now look at the question take the minimum amount of time set a timer okay set a timer of 10 seconds or 15 seconds and solve this sum because you already checked how to solve for 11 so pause the video right now solve this and comment it in the comment section to understand so that i so you can check whether you've done sum correctly again by replaying the video okay pause it and write your answer in the comment section now let us continue if you have written the answer in the comment section excellent now let us check let us check your answer okay what is the number the number is 7 8 x 3 9 4 5 this number has to be divisible by 11 so for 11 what we need to do we need to check even and odd right so 3 plus 9 for, sorry 5 plus 9 14 14 plus x and x plus 7 so 5 plus 9 14 14 plus 7 is 21 21 plus x so we have 21 plus x <coughs> from this we need to subtract this part 4 3 and 8 4 plus 8 is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 right so if i subtract 15 from this i get 15 minus 21 minus 15 is 6 and we have plus x now 6 plus what will give us a number that is divisible by 11 6 plus 5 gives us 11 which is divisible by 11 therefore the value of x will be 5 now you might say again the same thing is it minimum or maximum because the number after 11 which is divisible by 5 is actually 22 so in order to make the number divisible by 11 other than 5 other than 5 because 6 plus 5 is 11 after 11 we have 22 so we need to add 6 6 plus 16 now 16 is not a single digit number so we will not have the answer as 16 obviously the answer is going to be 5 so the option is option d 5 moving on to the next one question number 4 a bit advanced a bit advanced than this okay question number 4 if a 10 digit number 2094x843y2 is divisible by 88 
then the value of 5x minus 7y for the largest possible value of x is you have the options now how do we do it we have two variables now x and y so first of all we have the number let's just write the number first 2 0 9 4 x 8 4 3 y 2 this is our number it has to be divided by 11 I mean, sorry, by 88. Now, as we know, we don't have to check totally for 88. We will find the two co-prime factors. Obviously, from here, we will get 8 and 11. Now, what is the first step? Don't try not to go for 11 in the first step. Okay, try to go for the other number. Because in the second 11 needs both even and odd places, which may make it a bit difficult for you. In the, which we will actually not get the answer directly. So, first check for 8. Now, 8, what is the divisibility rule of 8? The last three digits should be divisible by 8. So this number 3y2, 3y2 should be divisible by 8. Right? Now, here they have not mentioned for either you need the minimum value or the maximum value or for the largest possible value of x. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, for the largest possible value. So of this means both x and y it should be x and y for the largest possible value of x and y what do we need so for 30 in the place of 30 which number is divisible by 8 32 is divisible by 8 that means y should be 2 so if i write in place of y if i write 2 then 32 will be divisible by 8 but will 2 be divisible no so it won't be 2 okay if I write, now what should I do? Now how should I check if it is going to be divisible by 2? Now you see, when a number is divisible by 8, the last, the number is also divisible by 4. And for 4, we know that the last two digits should be divisible by 4, right? Last two digits should be divisible by 4. So keeping this in mind, if I write the two factors as obviously 4 and 2, 2 obviously it is even, so it will be divisible. For 4, the last two digits should be divisible. Now, what are the possibilities? 12 is divisible by 4. Then we have 22. No, 32. Yes. So we can have 32. It will be divisible by 4. Then we have uh, 42. No, 52. Yes. 62. No, 72. Yes. So there are many options. Now let us check one by one. So if I write 312, okay, 312, will it be divisible by 8? Let's check. Uh, 3 is a 24. We have 72. Then 8 into 9s are 72 and we have 0. That means 312 is divisible by 8. Now, after 312, there may be another number which is divisible by 8 because we need the largest possible value, right? Now, obviously, when a, divisible, when a number is divisible by 8, this 312 is the smallest one. After this, which number will be divisible by 8? Now, for a, a number to be divisible by 8, we are obviously checking for 312. Then we are checking for 322. Then 332, then 342, 352, like this, right? Now, according to this trend, we have to check for all the numbers then 312, 322, 332, 342, 352. Then it is going to take a lot of time. So use your brain. How to use the brain? A number which will be divisible by 8. If we have to check for this, then after 312, if I move to 322, then the difference of 312 and 322 is how much? 10. Is 10 divisible by 8? No. Then we will go for 332. The difference is 20. Is the number divisible by 8? Is 20 divisible by 8? No. Then this is not the answer. Then we have 342. Difference is 30. Is 30 divisible by 8? No. Then we have 352. Is 352 divisible by 8? I mean, is the difference 40 divisible by 8? Yes. So we can we may have the answer is 352 or 392. So difference is 40, it will be divisible by 8. Difference is 40, it will be divisible by 9. That, I mean 8. That means this is the smallest possible value. This is the largest possible value. So as a result, we will take the value of y as 9. We have the smallest value 1 or 5 or 9. So since we need the largest value, the value of y will be 9. I hope that is clear. So let us put y in place 9 in place of y. Now we have a simpler number again. We, we now we are come we have come down to a single variable. How do we do the next part? For the next part, we have checked for 8. 
8 is done. We need to check for 11. 11, we all know how to do it. 2 plus 3, 9, uh, 5. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. 17 plus 0 is again 17. We need to subtract it from the other side. 9 plus 4, 13. 13 plus uh, 9 is 20, I think. Okay. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus x, 13 plus x, 13 plus x for 22 plus x, 24 plus x. So it is going to be 24 plus x and from this we are going to subtract. So we are going to get 7 plus x. Now what should be added to 7 so that we get the number to be equal to uh, divisible by 7? 11 divisible by i'm sorry i'm getting mixed up uh, what should be the value of x so that the number becomes divisible by 11 obviously it is going to be 4 right because 7 plus 4 is going to give us 11 and 11 is obviously divisible by 11 so the value of x will be 11 sorry for the mistake the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 9 okay so we need to find 5x by the 7y <coughs> So 5x minus 7y will be 5 into 4 minus 7 into 9, which is obviously 20 minus 63. That is the answer is minus 43. So that's our right option. Moving on to question number 5. The question is if 4x573y is divisible by 72, find the minimum value of x and y. Now they have said minimum value. So the number is 4 x 573y is divisible by 72. Obviously, we will not check for 72. We need two co prime numbers. So, obviously, these are 8 and 9. 8 times are 72. So, first of all, we need y. So, we will not check for 9. Don't check anything that is divisible by divisibility rule is the sum. Okay. So, since we have 8, that means 730y should be divisible by 8. So, let's divide 73y by 8. Now, 8. 9 is 72. We have 1. Now, what should be the value of y so that it is divisible by 8? Obviously, y should be 6 because 16 is divisible by 8. So, 8 to the 16, it is not divisible. So, the value of y is 6. Done. We have got the value of y. This is 6. Now, we need x. And this time, so 8 is done. We have to divide by 9. That means sum of the digits should be equal to 9. So, here we have 6 plus 3, 9. So, obviously, done. If we have got 9. 4 and 5, the sum is also 9. This will be divisible. 7 plus what is divisible by 9? 7 plus 2 is divisible by 9 because 7 plus 2 is 9. So the value of x is obviously 2. So for uh, I mean for y we had got 6 and x is equal to 2. We need to find the minimum value of x plus y. So x plus y will be equal to 2 plus 6 that is 8. This is our answer. See how fast we have done. See the questions will be easier for you to solve if the variable is present at the end. For the last sum that we have done, question number four, the variable was in the tens place. That's when it becomes tough for you to check. But as whenever you see in the question, the variable is at the end, it will be very fast. See how fast we have done it, right? So there are two types, two patterns. I've done the harder one first, the easier one second. Okay, moving on to question number six. If 15x1y2 is divisible by 44, find x plus y. Now this one, I know you can do it. So this is your home task. Try it out yourself and comment it in the comment section. I know you will be able to find the answer from this. Very easy. Obviously 44, so you will not go for 44 as a whole. You will go for 11 and 4. So first check for 4, then come to 11. Okay, I hope you have understood this video, whatever we have explained here, divisibility rules are very important. Check out the different question papers from different government exams, from different bank exams or from different campus recruitment exams. You will find these types of questions there. So I hope now you know how to solve this and for more videos, stay tuned. You can join into our math club where we are putting out a course. Our first batch is going to launch in March in the, after the board exams are over. So after that is over, that is done with, we are going to start the math club. You can register for the one week free class. 
the link will be down in the description if you want to know what we teach in the maths club i will link the video down as well where i explain everything that we do in maths club go out there these type of sums if you want to be ready if you want to be prepared if you're weak in maths if you think you are weak but you want to prepare for all the government exams all the campus recruitment exams if you want to be there for the different bank exams the math club is going to be your destination that is going to take you to your glory okay this is going to be the first stepping stone our first batch is launching in march and i'll be really happy to see you out there okay so thank you everyone for watching and until next time cheers